Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, we're doing the live analysis here, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. It's all forward-looking, 10 a.m. Uh, and uh, the concept here, uh, for those of you who are new in here, uh, this is the education that you get with Bookmap when you subscribe to Global Plus. And the whole goal here is apply what you've learned from the educational course in the live market. Uh, that's what the live analysis is for here because Bookmap is a platform. Okay, we're not a trading strategy. Uh, so we want to cover many different things, answer your questions, but it will be forward-looking analysis so you can apply what you've learned from the course. We will cover uh, various uh, strategies as well as various trade management uh, methods. So, uh, but we offer live trading with JTrader, a stocks trader on Wednesday, and Scott Bolsini, a futures trader on Thursday, so you can look at their specific ways of trading. Uh, that's that's the goal here. So it's a very complete education uh, that you're getting here uh, with Bookmap. Good morning, Guido. Uh, yeah, so um, you can stay up to 10:30. All right, uh, excellent. Um, yeah, you're a long long time Bookmap user. Uh, so uh, it's really nice to see you back in here. Uh, let's go through some uh, disclosures and then we'll look at the live market. Uh, general disclosure: all Bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for education educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's jump in here and uh, yikes, I, God, I wanna go through this so quickly. Uh, we're looking at the S&P actually, um, and uh, it's dropping here and you see the sellers coming in right again here. Uh, we were just looking at a pullback uh, to, um, let's see here, where did it, go, where did it pull back to? Ah, beautiful pullback to 80, kind of kind of looking for that. Um, uh, and, uh, and, you know, now we see the sellers come right back in, pretty heavy selling here. All right, let's just zoom out here. Let's get our bigger picture approach. Uh, and uh, the reason I picked the S&P uh, today uh, was, uh, we, we might jump over to the NASDAQ, but it was just showing high liquidity for the demo purposes in the previous uh, webinar um, beautifully here, 4,700 right here. And look at the sell-off after trading up into 4,700 after the 9.30 cash open. Okay, we're looking at quite a bit of data in here since uh, yesterday. Uh, this is uh, right around, um, what time yesterday? This was last night before midnight yeah okay so this is the entire overnight session base well big big chunk of it yeah so uh anyway yeah they continue on and uh yeah we're bigger picture we're looking for down to um this 4660 and then 4650 here is, that's where the liquidity is and you know the, you can see they actually pulled here at, at 4660 uh, so, uh, uh, you know, it's going to it's not going to be um, an easy ride. It's going to be back and forth all the way down. Uh, or if we get all the way down, look at the buying icebergs. In fact, right now, I'd be looking for them to try to lift this back up into 80 here or this liquidity here at 78. Uh, because look at the buying coming in. Right. And we already saw some some buying here. So just looking for them to trade up to here for now. OK, 78. Right, just based on that's where the swing is, that's where the liquidity is. And it was also based on insight from uh, not only the context down here, but the, buy, the the stops and icebergs. People getting stopped out on the way down, look at the buying icebergs in here. So beautiful uh, uh, buying in here, started right around here, okay? Uh, all the way down to here. All right, so what does that mean? It means that uh, all of these players, larger players that are buying, now they're starting to sell some. Uh, maybe they're taking some profits here. Uh, but, um, the, you know, they were buying all the way through this move here. Okay, so highly likely would be a, maybe a pullback to this area then, right? Uh, somewhere around this 80 level here. Uh, if they're buying all the way through, they're likely going to be in profit certainly above this area here, but uh, likely up into here. 
okay? Because they're buying on the way down, getting filled on the way down. This is how larger players get filled. Uh, and they that's why they use iceberg orders, because they don't want to show their liquidity in the order book. They'll absorb as price goes against them, or they'll stay in the order book and they'll get filled. Okay, so uh, now we can see them. We understand, you know, that dynamic in here. We're looking to see if we can find more aggressive buyers at this point. Okay, lift it up into 75 and then back up into 80. All right, now, you know, we're not quite there yet, but we do see the buying coming in. Okay, we saw it over here. Uh, we caught that move. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I jumped over to this webinar and, and missed the move to back down to the downside here. Uh, and uh, But here we are again, and uh, what's unfolding here, see, look at the selling in here, pretty heavy selling. Okay, stop run, iceberg orders. Uh, and we came back up and we tested above this swing here. Okay, and we found buyers up here. All right, so let's see if we can uh, maybe, uh, we're looking at where they broke out from here. Okay, right around this 4670 level and we're going to look for buyers to support it okay so uh, we're not finding that right now okay but may, what if we get big green dots back up here and we're not okay so sellers are going to try to take it a little bit lower here maybe down to 66 here yep and they're pulling down at 66 as well. All right, well, let's just take a look at this market structure though. I wanna cover this. Market structure is just so important to understand. Okay, we're making lower lows here. Still making lower lows, lower lows, lower highs. Um, but here we see a little bit of a shift. There's a kind of a, you know, uh, a lower low or lower high here, but we're now we're making a slightly higher high, slightly higher lows here. Okay, so we're looking for potential. Um, you know, I know it looks kind of messy. Let's just, you get my point though. Uh, we're looking to see now uh, if we hold that structure. Okay, our buyers still holding it. We see the buying in here. We see it in here as well. So they're in here, right? Now we're looking for them to lift it here. Let's see if they can do it. Okay, right here at 71. Okay, the order book looks good on the bid here, starting to bid up. But what is the reaction to, to that um, these orders here? We're actually finding some sellers. So we're not quite quite ready yet. We want the opposite effect. We want this to repel the sellers and we want to find buyers here. Now we're starting to find them. Okay, so let's see if they can come in now. Here they come. All right, so they're trading into there, looking for the move to 75 uh, and the liquidity here, they're getting out of the way. Uh, so, and we're finding our buyers. So we're still looking for the move up higher here to 75. Okay, and then ultimately I, I still like to move up into this kind of swing up here, uh, 80. I just don't see much liquidity up there at the moment. Okay, so a little bit of a pullback there already to where we broke out from here. We didn't even get to 75 yet. Okay, a little battle starting to shape up here between buyers and sellers, but we're starting to note the buyers coming in here. Okay, and this is a huge downtrend, huge. All right, but look at the buying cluster in here. So we're going to go through a couple different scenarios. I'm still looking for them to pull it back to 75. Okay, and here they come. So the buyers have control here if they want to continue. They've got it. Look at the buying. Okay, so we want to see them come up and trade into 75. Now the opposite scenario is what if what if sellers come in here and completely dump on the market like this big red dot here and trade down below this little swing right here at 70 69 okay that's when we're going to see a continuation down lower most likely okay there's our move into just about 75 just just one tick shy of it we should still get it though still looking for it 
There we go. There's 75. Um, now, you know, I like this structure. I'm looking for them to break this smaller structure here. I want to see them come up into 78 now. Okay, they're supporting it here in the bid at uh, 73 and a half. Okay, I'm looking for buyers to stream it up into 78. And then maybe our 80 level that we were talking about. But the liquidity is up here now at 78 and above. Okay, looking for buyers to lift it now. Okay, we're starting to see maybe a, a, a potential reversal. It, reversals are challenging. Okay, they take a while to work out, but we're starting to note it in the structure here. See how we just kind of made a very slightly uh, lower high here or equal high. I'm looking for them to break it though. Okay, and then move it on up into 78. Okay, and I'm looking at the context between the order book and the volume within it. And if we zoom out, we can see very clearly see that volume here. So I'm looking for them to lift it up into here. Okay, we've already gotten to 75. Now, we can also cover in here um, how to uh, uh, start to... Um, uh, put together uh, potential trading plans or uh, uh, strategies here uh, in trade management, okay, for looking at some of these moves, okay. Let's see if the buyers can lift it here. Here they come. Okay, and I, and I, want, I want to see them lift it a lot more than that. I want to see them stream right up into 78, and I want to see a stop run to the upside as well down here. Okay, the buying pressure is pretty good. I love this uh, 78 level. Would love to see it even come up higher. But uh, this is going to be kind of a key level in here. This is where the sellers really pounded it here. Okay, here come the sellers. They're trying to trying to uh, uh, drop it here. So we're getting a little bit of a battle. Look at look at the bid here. <laughs> Or I'm sorry, that's on the off. That was on the offer. No, I'm sorry, that's on the bid. That was on the bid. Uh, very high liquidity. And then it then it flipped, flipped to the offer here. And they got to trade through that. Did they trade through it yet? Oh, they pulled. Yeah, so buyers should be able to lift it now. Yeah, they pulled. So, yeah, we're up to 78. See how we can get insight from this here? This is where that battleground took place. Okay, now as, as I moved away, like we, now now we see our streaming up into not only 78, but we're looking for our 80 level here. And look at the buying coming in. Still looking for this level here, 81 and a half. Yikes, look at that big sell dot. And so we, we know the sellers are still in, involved in here. And this makes sense, actually. Um, this is our structure right here. This is where we drop from. This is where the sellers came in. So we can see sellers are still in here. We just, we just validated that. All right, let's cover how you can go through different trading strategies on this and, and um, uh, for those of you who are in here today, I just want to go through a little bit about this education and, and what, what's our goal in here. Uh, and, and that is like, a, uh, you know, to give insight and read this to start to understand how these moves may unfold. Okay. Uh, and then what's so nice about this, uh, in this, in this type of uh, structure of education, uh, is that we're not emotionally involved in it. Okay, we don't have a position on. Uh, so, uh, uh, for example, uh, I re recall a bank trader um, uh, asking, the, posing the question uh, to a group of traders, like, when are you, you your best trader? Any, anyone want to answer that? Any idea? When are you the best trader? Alan, I know you know the answer. Exactly. When you don't have a position. 
right? You're very objective. You're clear in your mind. Uh, you can go either way, right? But you're going to read it objectively on a SIM account. Uh, Alexander, I would disagree with that. I think SIM accounts, like you have ego, you have emotion, uh, you want to be right, um, you know, and then you miss uh, others, uh, other transactions or, or I'm sorry, opportunities, right? You'd be holding on, you'd be stubborn. Uh, there'd be revenge, like how dare the market move against me on this? I, I read it right, you know? Um, so um, uh, yeah, I, I would, this is why I, I, I I um, encourage you to, you know, those of you who are new to Bookmap, just read this first. Go through the same process we're going through in this webinar. Okay, read this order flow and give insight to where you think it should move. And then go back and take a look at it. Well, why didn't it move there? Okay, what did I learn from that? Okay, what, did, what about the market structure? What about the context between these elements in the structure? Okay, look at this massive iceberg here. Look at the insight we got from this as well. Okay, there's also up here iceberg selling here. Okay, so a real big battle here. But we can also we also know that these guys in here they made their money uh, back. It went back to 80. You know they're they're in the green here because they bought most of that that iceberg buying. Well, it started up here, like I said. But if they're going to le um, layer into this all the way down to here, the swing low, they're in the they made money out of it. Now, now they can now they can sell on the other side here, right? And if they are, and if we get our sellers in here right here right now, I'm looking for them to drop it down into this liquidity here, okay, at uh, uh, 68. Okay, very very simple um, uh, simple things that we're looking at here. Okay. And we can cover, um, you know, we, we saw this kind of starting to reverse, and it, and it still may turn into a big reversal pattern here. Okay. Not hands off at the moment here, uh, because we see a lot of selling and we see a lot of icebergs in here. Okay. So we really need to see some distinction here. Uh, and things always get a little trickier uh, right around this time. Uh, you know, not always, but um, typically. Okay. See, see the sellers in here, buyers in here, they're fighting fighting here, uh, trying to get it above 75, back up into here, see if we're going to trade or tre start to trend. And, you know, it takes a while for these things to turn around. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go through. So we, we were, we noticed this here, previous webinar, we noted the buyers coming in looking for a pullback only. Okay, we got it. Right. Then then uh, uh, we see more, you know, sellers come in and then we started to note, look at this. Interesting. More buying coming in here. They made a higher, slightly higher high based off of this structure right here. Then we made a, a higher low here. And what do we find here? We found buyers. So we're looking for them to lift it. So we're looking for that move to 75. Then we're looking for the move to 78 uh, and potentially 80 because that's where it dropped from, okay? So there's your setup here by understanding um, some of these levels. Uh, now, how, how might you get in uh, and uh, read this here? This is very personal and, and up to you. We can cover many different things here, uh, how, how to start to uh, uh, piece this together and look for something that is higher probability. All right. Well, we noted the structure. We noted the buying, uh, and then so we're looking for buyers to come in here, uh, and uh, they did. So in here, you, you'd be looking for this move up into, um, yeah, 75 right here. Okay. So around this area in here. All right. So uh, you you could get on a pullback here because you noted the buyers in here. You could get in a pullback here. It's not my style. I I, I know that we have a a higher low here. Uh, and we and we don't have the volume down here uh, on the sell side. Okay, if there was a lot of selling down here, likely it would have broke. Okay, back down to 65, 64, 63, whatever. Okay, we don't we don't see it here. Okay, once we get we get the buying back in here, this is where I like to enter. Okay, now you could put your because you 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 could justify it. You know you have to go back and 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 um, 
uh, do your due diligence and study this. But you noted buyers in here. You're looking for that pullback. You noted more buyers coming in here. And, they're, and we're making a higher, slightly higher high off of that structure and a slightly higher low off of this structure down here. And we're finding buyers. So we're just looking for the move up into 75. And then if we can get that, then we're looking for the move up in this liquidity up here, 78. Okay, we liked 80. We just didn't see a lot of liquidity up there. So, uh, yeah, so you could, you could buy in your pullback. Your stop would probably go down here. It's really up to you on what time frame as well. That's why, you know, it's so it's so personal. I mean, like, what time frame are you trading? What is your risk parameter? Uh, what kind of move are you looking for? Are you, are you looking for holding the rest of the day? Uh, or are you looking for just a quick scalp, et cetera? All right. Now, the goal in these webinars here is to go through um, uh, as many instances as possible. So that you can start to read this and get positive feedback based off of your read. Okay, Guido, uh, that should, uh, uh, you know, you've been in here many, many times over. Okay, I, I hope you find that helpful, right? So you can start to read this and start to understand that it might, there's a higher probability trade that is going to come up into the 75 level. Right? Uh, Alan as well. I know that, I know you're all over it, Alan. Uh, you probably caught the move down, the move back up, the move back up again. Um, but looking for higher probability um, opportunities in here uh, based on our read of the structure and the volume and uh, uh, the limit buy and sell orders, the supply and demand. Okay. Also, nice nice little thing in here was the, uh, the flip. Well, not really a flip of the book, but uh, high liquidity here. They're starting to pull. We're finding buyers, and then they're on the bid here uh, at this 73.5 level. All right. So, uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, you could have been in, you know, involved in, you know, this in, anywhere in here, your stop could have been, you know, anywhere in from this area, 69 on down to, you know, 64, something like that, whatever, depending on your risk and your uh, time frame. Okay. Uh, I, especially on reversals, especially on reversals, I like to take partial profits. I would have gotten out here at 75. I maybe even front ran it, um, 74 and three quarters, uh, and uh, gotten out a position, just a position, and move my stop up to break even, and hold the rest for 78, and I'm out. Okay, and that's it. I'd look for the next one. Now, what what else unfolded here? Well, this is starting to still play out pretty nicely. And look at the, the we made a, a still a higher high and a higher low here, and we're finding buyers. Great, back to 80. Looking for the move back to 80 here. Okay, let's see what the order book tells us here. Okay, the buying initiated down here at 74. So the, we could get a pull back into this area here, and that's starting to unfold a little bit. Yeah, let's see if they can squeeze it a little bit lower here, 74-ish. Yeah, it can come down in, in, in even into the 72 and a half-ish area. Okay, are we ready here? Are we ready to move? Let's see. Let's see if these buyers show up. I don't like this dark area in the order book. I, I don't feel very good about this move. Uh, reason being is they're not really supporting it underneath here. Okay. I do like this area at 80, but I want to see them pull at this liquidity at 80 as well. If we want to see a nice reversal take place here, I want to see them pull at 80. I want to see it come up and, you know, uh, up into this higher liquidity here, 85, for example. Right. And we're starting to find some buying in here. So, yeah, I'd be looking for a move to 80 here, a quick move to 80. I, I just don't like it. I, I, I'm looking for that move. I don't think it's high probability. I think sellers can pound on it down into 75 very, very quickly here. Okay. And I don't want to get caught up in that. It wasn't giving me a, a, a very um, high probability setup. 
Okay, whereas in some of these other areas, this is looking pretty good. Anyway, this context of liquidity, uh, along with uh, you know the market structure and, and the volume within that structure, is is what we're reading here. So here, look at the sellers here. Now, now I'm looking for them to trade it down into 72 and a half. Okay, they're 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 coming in on the other side here, right? Nice move here, buyers. A few buyers here, but now some sellers. Okay, great. Moving for the move lower. Here they go. We're already at 73, or tested 73. I should have said 73 is basically it. It's, it, it really is 73. They, they can come down to 72 and a half, but um, uh, I, I really like 73. I'd, I'd be out of that trade, right? Um, if, if I took it to the downside here, right? Because, uh, you know, we have this kind of potential reversal. We see a lot of buying coming in here. Okay, so that would have been a scalp down again from somewhere around here, 76 and a quarter down to 73. And I, I'd be out full position on that one. I, d I just don't see high probability, you know, as high probability trade here. Right. So, again, you, you know, starting to understand uh, your um, your order flow reading here, along with your trade management. So, you know, getting in full, full in, full out. Okay. Now, I've, I've been covering this for, for uh, quite a while now, um, but, you know, we're looking at who's in control and taking uh, uh, the market a, a specific direction, moving it away from a value area. Um, right now, it's establishing a big value area down here, but it's the sellers that are still in control here on this whole move. Okay, they came in here hard, big, big volume, dropping the market. Okay. Now, for us to get back up above this area here, now we're, we're getting our buyers here. I, I'd, I'd take a shot at it and just try to ride this up into 80, maybe 82 and a half here, maybe 85. I like the volume here, right? Our structure is holding, and I like the volume here. They want to move it away. So there's 80 already. Okay, maybe I'd take a partial profit there. I know that's a bit of a scalp, but uh, I, I want to reduce my risk. And now that's, you know, my way of trading. Uh, you know, it was in here somewhere around 77 and a half or so uh, on up to um, uh, 80, okay? And uh, out a partial position, move my stop up, okay? Not, not I, I like this volume here, um, but I wanna reduce my risk. Okay, Guido, yeah, take care. Um, all right, so, uh, Anyway, um, yeah, likely get stopped out here, break even on the rest. So, uh, I, and I'm fine with that. Okay, I'd still be in this. As you guys can see, it didn't come down to 77 and a half. Volume looks good. And here they come. Now they should be able to break it 82 and a half, maybe uh, 84, 85 here. 85 is where they were earlier, so I like that area. Let's, uh, let's kind of edit this a little bit here.
All right, buyers back up here again, looking for a short squeeze. See the selling in here? If we can get buyers up here, we're going to get a nice little squeeze and a stop run to the upside up into 85. So I'm still looking for that to unfold here. Now, there's quite a bit of selling though. So maybe we maybe the stop or the you know the the trap volume is going to be up here at the at the high and we see more sellers down here at 78. All right, so none of the either of those scenarios are are equally valid at this time. Okay, I would I would give a, a more of a nod though to the uh, uh, the buy side because they're the ones that came in with the, the heavy volume here. So I, I still would go with the the buy side. I, I would have a slant toward the buy side, uh, but you know there's both buying and selling in here. Okay, so uh, we're going to see who gets it right or who gets it wrong. But I would, I still would have been in this, or I'd still be in this from that 77 and a half level. So, and the only reason I'm mentioning that is so <laughs> you you guys can start to understand, like, um, all right, well, you know, how high probability is this? It already took partial profit at 80, still in it. And uh, there's no real reason. We're starting to see maybe, you know, kinks in the armor here. Um, or chinks in the armor, but like uh, the um, and and a lack of buying here, so sellers could come in, right? But we're, we're still going with the overall move here, okay? And and that's so we're going through some trade management with the order flow here, right? And so far so good. We're, we we stayed with the trade here. Okay, we're just noticing that in here, the selling here. Now, this is going to be a beautiful stop run because these guys here that sold, here's our stop run to the upside. And that that, that was uh, anticipated. Okay, starting to understand why this stop run may unfold here. Okay, the selling in here, they're buying here. Okay, they're selling again up here. Okay, so again, this can continue on up nicely into 85 and 86, maybe even 90 here because they're still selling here All right so if we get buyers above it here now the opposite we've got to go through the opposite scenario and i think this is going to unfold here this is going to be a false breakout yeah so if we get sellers down below here where they just broke out from these guys are trapped okay looking for sellers to try to try to drop it now back into the swing or this liquidity maybe at 78. Okay, so now that's a, that can reflect this order flow reading can reflect on your trade management. Uh, maybe maybe exit that second leg. You know why not? We don't have a clear reading. Take take the rest of it. When we have something that's really clear, you can always get back in. All right, buyers still trying, to, still trying to get up above here, and sellers come right back in. Okay, liquidity is on on the bid down at 80 and below, and they're on the offer up here at 85. Here, here come the buyers one more time. Now I still don't like this here because look how dark it is underneath here. Sellers can pound it right down here very, very quickly. In fact, we made a lower high here. If we get a lack of selling, a lack of buying here and some selling right here at 81 and a half, I'm looking for them to drop it into 80 and maybe, maybe a little bit lower here. Okay, just going through these scenarios here, and we don't see either of them right now. Okay, now I'd give a little bit of a nod here to the uh, sell side, looking for the uh, seller to drop it down into 80 here. Here we go. There it is. Beautiful. 
Okay. Now, how, how did how did I read that? Okay. Understanding market structure and volume within that, and then also the order book. Okay. A little bit of a nod right in here, looking for sellers to come in and drop it down to 80. Okay. Understanding what the order book from this, because in here it was dark. They're not bidding up. Okay. In the structure. Well, they're, they're, they can't make a higher high here, and we didn't find any buying in here. Okay, so looking at now structure and then volume within the structure. No buying here. If we get selling here, they should be able to drop it easily down to 80. Okay, quick scalp for, you know, a couple of points. Okay, and they're still dropping it. Likely down into this liquidity here, 77 now. Okay. So based on based on this this reading here, okay, we were we were long, okay, we would have gotten out partial here at 80, holding the rest. Then then we started to note some things in here. It didn't didn't look so clean and clear. Exit the other uh, position, uh, enter a position short, and get out here at 80. And that's that. Okay, these are just considerations. So, uh, uh, you know, um, you can uh, apply what you learn from here uh, and consider some of these things. Okay. Likely you have your own ways of trading, okay. your own uh, uh, very specific, uh, uh, you know, uh, trading plan. Okay. But adding this order flow in here is going to be really, really nice. Oh, hey, Doug. Uh, spot gamma levels at BWAP uh, at uh, 683. Okay. All right. So uh, Doug is looking at, uh, and let me show you something here if you guys um, want to take a look. Uh, uh, Doug Pless here, he did a Pro Trader webinar. Uh, it's right here. Uh, you might want to check this out. He's talking about gamma levels, spot gamma levels uh, within, uh, within Bookmap. Spot gamma is um, here from the marketplace. Uh, Brent Kachuba from uh, from Spa Gamma. Uh, he's an options expert, so he they develop these uh, 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 options levels within Bookmap, and uh, you can you can get them here from the Bookmap marketplace if you like. Uh, Doug has developed a whole strategy around this, and he's looking at these levels up here, and he noted there's a gamma level, and that's what he's um, uh, you know noting here uh, in the uh, in the chat. Okay, so his trading plan, he has reasons now. He's studied it. He's looked at it. He's looking for, um, uh, you know, a certain behavior around some of these options uh, gamma levels. Yeah, we have some excellent traders in here. Okay, see, look at look at the buying coming in here. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I mean, like, yeah, likely it's going to trade to 85. I, I'd give the nod to it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be in it. It's starting to be really back and forth in here. But the the buy volume and, and the trend continuation is what we're kind of looking at here. And look at them pull now between 83 and 85. So buyers have a clean street here, clean path. All they need to do is start buying. Okay, let's see if they um, take the uh, the bids here and then uh, add them up higher here, and let's see if we get buyers. And you can see we're not. In fact, it's the opposite. We're getting the offer starting to show more here, and we're finding some sellers. Not much, but some. See, see the offer building out here? Okay, see them pulling on the bid now? This allows it not that clean street to the upside here. Well, now it allows for sellers to hit it down into 79 and a quarter. Okay, now we're getting all the sorts of uh, things starting to happen here. Now they're on the bid with very, very high liquidity, and the sellers just took them on. Okay, look at them again here. Look at that skew in the order book, and what was the reaction? Buyers. Okay, so buyers should be able to lift it now to 85.
Okay, now they just transacted, uh, sellers transacted into this uh, uh, 82 and a half, and they transacted here again. So it's actually really kind of both right now. It's kind of giving a convoluted um, uh, outlook here because we're seeing the, the aggressive buyers, but we also see that high liquidity and the sellers took them on, on the bid. So we're finding both buyers and sellers in here. And now we're back above it, finding buyers. I, yeah, I, I'd like to move up into 85. Um, I would give the nod to that, but like uh, just from the order flow reading here, uh, the continuation up into 85, it's just, I just don't think it's high probability. So that's my assumption. Uh, and then uh, we looked for, you know, things to kind of um, support that assumption. See how, see how I could waffle back and forth here? It's not waffling, it's, it's reading. See how there's an exhaustion here on the buy side? Well, we don't want to see that. You know, it, it allows seller, more sellers to come in here. Okay, now look what we have, though, a little bit here on the bid. See how they're bidding up in here? Okay, so it's getting interesting now. Bidding up at 81 and a half. Okay, what's the reaction to uh, by the aggressors here? Not much. If we get enough buy dots up here, big green one, we should get a move right up into 85. And there's some, and it should do it, but I, again, I, I just don't like it. I, I wouldn't want to risk money on it. Right, just kind of uh, separating out, uh, understanding, looking at the order flow, looking for something that is more probable. And there it is. Well, not quite 85 yet. Still looking for it though. <laughs> Look at the sellers come streaming in. Yeah, Alan, it uh, looks like the, um, yeah, the equity markets are on uh, Viagra. Um, well, well, I mean, there's a lot of volatility here. I mean, like, this is a pretty big move. There's a very, very steep sell-off here. Right, from 4,700 uh, down to, um, you know, 40, 46, 65-ish or 6. All right, 30, 34 S and P points. Okay, pretty pretty big move. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> Doug, you're looking at the SPY. And you're looking at uh, move to the downside. Oh, look at this area up here, guys. Like, um, just unbelievable. I mean, this is um, fascinating stuff here. I mean, the SPY here is the uh, obviously the ETF of uh, S&P E-mini. Look at these areas of liquidity up in here. Massive, just massive. All right. Well, 31,000 shares. Um, Five thousand or nine thousand. I'm sorry. So you can start to align some of these areas in here in your um, uh, ETFs or or others to think where price might go, or at least the correlation between these two. All right. So we just were just shy of our 85 level, and we sold off, and then uh, buyers are coming right back though.
Boy, it's been a while since we've gone through the S&P. We're, we're seeing some good stuff in here. So we'll, we'll continue on with it. I'll jump over the NASDAQ for a second here. I just, you know, I, I, I love this market. And uh, I mean, we, it's not that I love the market that, that we covered. It's just that uh, we see follow through in this market. And a lot of people are either trading the ES or the, or the NASDAQ, especially in recent years, the NASDAQ, uh, because it's just been on fire. Um, high liquidity up here. Uh, didn't trade into it at this kind of uh, 16,290 level. Back to the S and P. Um, yeah, you know. Not really the uh, kind of reversal that we want to see here, right? Um, so this is still trend continuation to the downside. Uh, in fact, because like uh, that buying that we're looking for in here, well, look, look, look at the the price movements. Okay, it's still holding the structure. That's true. Still making higher highs. That's true. Higher lows. Um, but um, you know, look at this kind of move here compared to this move to the downside. Okay, so we know that buy or sellers are still in control on this move. So let's see if we can get actually, you know, back into structure, maybe a move back down into maybe this swing here. It lines up with our diagonal line as well. Looking for sellers to come in right now and drop it into 77. Okay, I like this 77 and a half level. Here they come already. So uh, yeah, and still looking for them to continue here. Okay, so 77 and then maybe maybe even 76, so there's liquidity down there. Okay, it's just gone to the bottom of this range and bouncing back up. I'm looking for sellers to come in again though. Okay, this is just a pullback here. Now we can talk about something interesting on a pullback. Again, talking about structure and volume within the structure. Well, look at the sellers. Look at the buying. And look at the bars as well. Not just the dots, the bars. It's mostly selling. So this is a low volume pullback back to 81 where it broke from. I'm looking to see if we can get more sellers here again and then break down to our 77 and 76 level here. Now, based on this in here, this is this is where, you know, I, I personally, I, I, I like the um, uh, the structure or, or for for a, a pullback trade or ent entry. This is where I like it. Okay, I would I would be looking to get involved in here, okay, in in this little area in here. Okay, probably around 81 and three or 80 and three quarters, somewhere around here, you know, getting filled. Based on the movement here, the red dots, the sellers hitting the bid, and this low volume pullback on the buy side, okay, just not as many buyers in here, right? So I'm looking for them to trade at least back down to the bottom of the range here, and then I'm still looking for more sellers here to drive it lower into our 77 and 76 levels. So this is a higher probability pullback trade here in my mind, because I still know that sellers are in control. They dropped it by the, from this range here. Okay. So likely, and I know also too that, that we're still in this uptrend, it's still holding, okay, but I'm looking for the sellers to try to drop it. Okay, would I be out half a position? Probably, probably half down here at the swing.
to stop to break even yet again. Okay, and still in it or not? Likely stopped out at break even. Yeah, would have been stopped out at break even. And I'm fine with that. Uh, good morning, James. You miss how I, I do this. You know the sellers are in control. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you're starting to see buyers trying to test that. Um, but uh, it, it's about the volume here. Okay. And and it's about the specific time frames as well. So, like, let's cover let's cover this one here. It's a little bit easier. Um, sellers came in and, and dropped the area of consolidation and sellers come in and, and drop it hard and into the bottom of the swing here. Okay. This is where sellers dropped it. Okay. This, these are, you know, in your auction market theory, it's kind of like, um, uh, you know, it's called your impulsive move. Uh, and, um, uh, they're, they're dropping it down. Well, they're trying to... They're dropping it down the bottom of the range here, but I'm, I'm reading the impulsive move here to, that they're driving it away from this little area of consolidation here, and they are in control, right? Now, we don't find enough buyers to trade back up into the range here. So I'm looking for sellers to try to, you know, still be in control here, right? Because we didn't find enough buyers in here. Now, this is where it gets a little more convoluted is now we're starting to find buyers in here. Okay, the same happened over here. Sellers took control and dropped it. Okay, this is a low volume pullback here. Even this in here is, low, is still low volume pullback. Okay, look at look at the dots, look at the bars. Okay, and then uh, we see sellers. Sellers should be able to take it back down at least to here where the buyers came in, and they should be able to have there should be more selling down here and try to drop it lower. That, that did not unfold, not enough sellers here. So we rotate back up and look where the buyers came in. See where the sellers dropped it and where the buyers came in. So we'd be looking for them to try to move it higher here. So this is more this is more complex. They're trying to do the same thing here, okay, right in here. Okay, now this one's gonna fail. Now we're looking for sellers to drop it into 77. Okay, and we got buyers on the wrong side here as well. So we should see a stop run to the downside as well. Okay, maybe maybe get down to 70, 74 or 75. Still looking for lower here. Stop run, very nice. Uh, make make sense, um, James. Uh, Alexander, you like it looks like a bear flag. I see at ten fifty. I'm not sure what you're looking at. Okay, okay, great, James. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really important to, to, to notice those areas here. And uh, and and when they're going to start to try to drive it away here. Now, this is kind of structure within structure. So, it, it, like I said, these are, and we're going to go through many, many examples. That's our goal here. Uh, so that uh, here's our move, guys, down into, well, we got our move into 76. Um, I'm still, I'm still looking for them to move it. Lower. I know that we've got our, our line here. That's why we're seeing a kind of uh, some buying off of it here. Uh, but uh, I would love to see it go lower here. Um, and this is why this is more like, you know, it's structure within structure here, right? So 
uh, you know, they retested all the way back up here. But couldn't even even here uh, again buying, but but selling below it here. We're looking for them to drop it. And now we're right back up into this little, you know, kind of structure again, right, right in here, right. So if buyers buyers might be able to lift it back up into previous area here. I, I don't see them right now, so I'm I'm still looking for sellers to hit it down into 75 and 74 here. Okay, lack of buying up here. That's not what I want to see. If I'm if I'm thinking it's going to go back up into this structure. Okay, so so far so good. Uh, now, do the sellers show up here? Not yet. Okay. Anyway, James, let me go through this. Um, let me. I, I, there's a few other questions in here, um, but I want to go through um, and just um, point out these areas uh, for James. I think he'll find it very helpful. Okay. So to make this point, because it, it's so essential to understand this within structure, you're looking for you know who's taking control. Okay, so over here we're looking for sellers to take control. They didn't, right? So now buyers can lift it back up into the other side of this range here at 81 and a half. Okay, or maybe just to 80 right now, point of control or, you know, this little area here. Right, but anyway, uh, James, let's take a look at it on various time frames here. Okay, seller, see the seller, oops, sorry. See the sellers in here? Look at the volume here as well. Okay, see how they dropped it. Okay, they're in control from that time frame. Now they're being tested though. Right? And buyers are gonna try to hit control and they're gonna try to get to the other side of the range here and upend all of these guys here and it'll be a stop run. All right, here, here's another area here, sellers. What about here? Look at the buyers. Okay, what about here? Look at the sellers. Okay, now this one's kind of interesting because, like, yeah, a lot heavy selling in here. Looks pretty good. They're all up ended here. These these turn into those pivot points that we talk about. Buyers came came back up above. We should see a stop run to the upside. We do uh, back up into kind of our 85 ish level here, 84 and three quarters. Okay, now let's look on the higher time frame. Okay, zoom out a little bit more. Here's where we, this is why we thought the structure, was start, we started to see a little bit of a shift in the structure early on. We saw it over here. We're looking for this move back up into uh, first 75 and then maybe 80 uh, on this pull back here. Okay, we got that. Uh, and then we're, we noted that, uh, wow, okay, buyers were in here. More buyers are in here. Uh, they, they broke a little structure here, right here, a little swing on some pretty big buying. Here again, buyers. Right. Okay. Sellers come in, try to drive it lower here. Okay. But now, now we see buyers back up here. Great. All right. We're looking for them. We 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 noticed them in here. We're looking for them to trade it up into 75, and then and then back to maybe 78 and 80. Okay. And that unfolded nicely. All right. So now we're starting to note where the buyers are coming in. See, look, here's a nice one here. See, look at the buying coming in here. Okay. Look at the pullback to it. Okay, again, this is a low volume pullback. Okay, all the way back down here too. But we don't see a lot of sellers in it. It's mostly the buying in here. Okay, so it, it you know, it, it's up to you. Like, you know, it, I, I don't feel too comfortable. I've been upended so many times about buying these pullbacks here. Even though I know buyers took control in this little time frame here. Okay. Uh, you know, your, there's your, your entry on the pullback and then you'd, you'd hold it for, you know, some of these higher areas. Okay, I likely would have been in, involved in it up, up here somewhere, right? And I wouldn't have gotten a much, as much out of it. Um, but anyway, I'm just looking for something that is higher probability. Now, here's, where, here's the big selling in here. Okay? And, and, you know, it sold off pretty hard the whole way. Uh, they're kind of upended here. And they tried, you know, tried to get buyers did get above here. Uh, they got back up into this little structural area here. Okay, this little uh, kind of back and forth right in here. Okay, here, here's again more selling take, taking control here. Okay, driving it away. Just think of it this way. 
James, I think this will be very helpful. Um, when you have a consolidation period, then and a value area within a consolidation period, what has to happen in order for it to, you know, be reevaluated into another consolidation period or another value area? Okay, something has to happen. A lot of times it's fundamentals. Other times it's uh, traders getting upended, or it's uh, people who know something. They see some sort of edge, maybe some sort of statist statistical arbitrage trading. Okay, some sort of study technically. Um, you know, maybe it's above point of control or whatever it might be, and you see like the big volume come in. Well, when you start to see that big volume, um, they are trying to move it away from that that value area. It's it's like a it's like gravity, like a rocket. It's trying to move it away. It needs a lot of power, okay? and that's why we're looking for big volume uh, to to lift it away from those areas and. And, uh, and, and you can see it in here, right? You can see it in all these little areas here that I pointed out, okay? So, you know, now we're looking for context though, okay? Between that, that kind of uh, control taking from the buyers or sellers, uh, and then also the structure, okay? So the structure is essential to understand first, all right? And then, uh, and then the volume within it, okay? And volume is only a part of it. Okay? It's also the context of the supply and demand in the order book. Has, we want to also read that like we didn't get duped in some of these trades in here or some of these things uh, because like, yeah, you know, we give it the nod to the buy side, but I don't like that. You know, it. I don't see them bidding up. I don't see them supporting it. So understanding that context of the order book is also essential. Okay. So it's just these three elements. Volume, supply and demand, and structure. See, look at the sellers come in now. They're going to try to drive it right back down. They're going to try to break this trend line and drive it back down to 76. Okay, looking pretty good. They're, they are dropping the offer a little bit here. It's not nothing, you know, earth shattering here, but uh, they pulled here so they can trade back down into maybe even 74, not, not just 76. Okay. Again, here would be a low volume pullback here. Okay. This is where the sellers came in. There's even more selling in here. Here's your sellers. Here's your low volume pullback. Now do we get more sellers here? For Now we're looking for follow through of this selling, selling here. Leg one, pullback. Leg two, back down into 70. Now we're going to call it 76. Okay, how what are, what are we going to look for? We're going to look for sellers here, and we're going to look for them on the offer here, and we're getting it. Okay, not a whole lot on the offer, but a little bit in here, okay, in here, and but, but the reaction to did you note the the reaction to that liquidity here? Sellers. All right. So anyway, that context is what we're we're talking about here. Okay. So we, we, got, we got the sellers down to 77. They didn't come down to 76. Now, trade management is a whole other ball game in here. Right? So that, that's up to you. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by your comment, though. I only refer to bookmap for traders. Can you art articulate that a little bit more? And let me go through a few other um, comments here. Uh, Alexander, yeah, bear flag is an in interesting one. It's kind of like this in here, like, uh, you know, kind of impulsive move, pull back, and then we want to see continuation. But a, a flag pattern is very, very, um, we're looking for big, big move on big volume. And then, then the bear flag, like, you know, maybe it, it so it would be kind of like this. It, it depends. Um, but, uh, you know, here we want to see big move, big volume. And then just like maybe it just kind of chops and you get a, a kind of a shallow pullback here because there's not a lot of buying. 
and then we're looking for continuation here with another big round of selling. Oh, do I? Okay, I understand, James. Do I only use Bookmap for my trading? Um, got you. Um, okay, that's what you meant. Okay, uh, Alexander. Yeah, spot on. That that's what uh, I, I just want to cover that understanding and and also extrapolate understanding the patterns that we read about for years. Okay, but it, who cares about the patterns? We care about the order flow within it. That's what gives us the higher probability. So this is a really complex like bear flag in, in essence, right? If we get our sellers here, we're going to get our completion. It kind of turned into maybe more like a, a drop consolidation and then drop here and looking for it right here, right now. Sellers, they should be able to drop it. 74, 75. Okay, does, is the offer, what's the reaction to this liquidity again? Do we find sellers? Where is the where is the target here? It would be yeah, this liquidity down here on on the bid. Uh, so uh, I hope that answers. Yeah, I, I wanted to answer your question, um, Alexander, uh, on that understanding these patterns too, because I, I like the the patterns. I mean, you see them repeat again and again, um, and there's a reason for them uh, repeating, uh, and it's due to the the um, the auction uh, between what buyers and sellers think of uh, the instrument. We should get a nice move here, guys. Let's see it here. 76 down to 74. There we go. 75. Let's see it continue here. Where, where might it also go? Yeah, I mean, I like this area down here. Uh, 73. This is where we noted these buyers here. We marked them up. Look at the buyers here. Okay. So let's see if let's see them test it. Sellers test those buyers from this previous uh, uh, period here. Okay, looks looks pretty good. I, I like it. Okay, so and now our our bear. This is not what we want to see in terms of our bear pattern or our bear flag pattern here. See, we got sellers here. Look on this leg here. No, no sellers. Now, if we get them here, we should get the continuation. So, you know, you wouldn't be duped by that here. Uh, all right. <laughs> Doug, you're glad I'm looking at the ES again. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll I, update the, uh, you know what, Doug, I think I'm gonna include this webinar on uh, on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's good to kind of go back here and we're getting really nice follow through on the S&P, which usually we don't, it, it rotates so much. Um, but the, these, um, these moves have, have followed through pretty pretty nicely uh, due to the order flow, just due to the reading of the order flow. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, the uh, all right, so that covers the patterns um, and or understand if you're a pattern trader, okay, you can look for very high probability of those patterns working out. You can even look at candlestick patterns. It it doesn't matter but just understand the order flow within it. That's what we want to understand. Here's our move, guys. Um, so uh, uh, we said 73 were there. Yeah, it's going to get interesting down here. And we also note in the bigger picture here, really, really strong move. We were looking for the buyers to come back in. Now we're looking for our sellers again. Move it back down lower. Right. This could be this could be. Oh, this is what you're talking about, um, Alexander. I'm sorry. Um, now I'm getting it. Yeah, this is you're turning into your big bear flag. Right. Move, pull back, move. OK, so just looking for the move to the swing low now. OK, look at the selling here. See, the, look at how look at how big that is. They're going to continue. And it's going to continue to drop into these lower levels here. Yeah, it took me a while to pick up on that, Alexander. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the uh, there was another question in here. I got through James's question. Um, oh, higher time frame stuff. Uh, actually, I wanted to, to answer this on the 
um, for for James. The um, uh, this is just beautiful, guys. Been been a really nice day here. Um, the uh, well, you know, you can read the higher time frames here um, the same way. Uh, basically, what I will do um, in in my trading, if I'm looking at higher time frames, I'm looking here at rhythmic. Uh, and um, I'm using the same concepts, same ideas, no different. And uh, I'm just looking at consolidation, moving it away, consolidations, moving it away, etc. cetera. Uh, now, you know, you're looking at very incomplete data here uh, because um, uh, you, you can see the price movements and you can see the wicks with the buying and selling. Uh, which is insightful, very insightful. Uh, however, you don't see the volume uh, within that area, which is, you know, makes all the difference in the world. And you don't see the supply and the demand. What if there's just massive orders up here, which there were in the S&P at 4,700? Okay, and here it is, right here, right? This is where you get the context. So if you, you know, this is the way I look at it on the higher time frames. Uh, I, I keep it very simple. Um, you know, I know, I know a lot of, a lot of people are looking at uh, volume profiles. They love the, you know, the, the profiles and the, and the market profiles, et cetera. Yeah, it's good. I, I like it. Um, uh, the, um, but you know, you don't, you can use any kind of strategy here. It's just understanding order flow here. Even on these higher time frames, you can start to piece together some of the order flow. Okay, you can look at structure, higher highs, higher lows, and then uh, look at this, look at the speed of some of these moves in the candlesticks. Okay, now this is a volume chart here. So it's, it's a 9,000 contract volume chart. Each bar is 9,000 contracts for the for the uh, Nasdaq E mini. Okay, now look at the structure though. Can you see the structure? Look at look at the swing here. Look at the retest back up to it here, today. Okay, and the drop down to where? Back down to where they're buying here in the wicks. All right. So understanding structure again. Same concepts here. It's just very kind of basic here uh, in the candlestick charts. That's what I look at, James. And then I look at book map here uh, to confirm it. God, this is a mess. All right, let me uh, let me clean this off. There we go. All right, all right, guys. Well, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day here. Uh, good good session, uh, everybody. Uh, some great questions as well. Thank you. Uh, I'll post this on YouTube. I think later, uh, so you guys have reference to it and some good follow through in the S and P, which we don't always get, uh, which is nice. So uh, yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll post in uh, in Discord. Trying to use Discord more and more. Uh, James, I saw your your uh, post uh, to me. I will respond to you as well as Alan. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, we we really want to ramp up our our Discord. Uh, we just think um, it is such a great way to reach a lot of traders uh, in that community and provide a lot of value because Discord's set up that way not just with chat, but with video, with, with voice, et cetera. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. I, I'm really excited about it. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, we're ramping all of that up. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, it should be, uh, should be, you know, should work out really well for us in the future here. Okay, providing, uh, you know, some really nice education for you guys. All right, thanks for coming. Take care. We'll catch up with you next time. Bye-bye.